All right, good morning. It is Tuesday, May 26th. Um, I need some Jesus in my life, so Dr. Linda, go for it. Hello, everybody. Good morning. This month, we are reading The Power of a Praying Wife. And so if you saw yesterday's prayer call, you'll know all about it. If not, you should really check out this book. I think it's like seven to 10 bucks, right? Power of a Praying Wife is 30 days of prayers for your husband. And you might be asking, why on earth do I want to pray for my husband? He's such a jerk, right? Well, the first chapter is like the most persuasive thing I have ever read to answer that question. And I decided I was going to be awesome. And I was just going to read all seven days for the whole week. And I couldn't do it. Of course you did. No, I couldn't do it. It was so much. It was so much persuasion that I was like, I just, to tell you the truth, I kind of felt sick to my stomach and I had to stop, you know, but everything was right. Everything that she said was right. So I've only read the first two days, Mondays and Tuesdays. And I tried again today. I was like, that's it. I'm going to read the whole rest of the week. I'll be done. I won't have to do it. Blah, blah, blah. I couldn't do it. And each day is only about what, four or five pages long or something like that. Those because, are the long ones. Otherwise they're like a page and a half. <laughs> like I couldn't do it. I mean, it talks about what to do if your husband is lazy and uh, I just want to go throw up right now. Just talk about it again. <laughs> I think it's, well, and it's, not, it's not meant to be read just to check the boxes, Dr. Linda. It's meant to be read, absorb, and take an action on in our prayer life. And we want to pray over our husbands every day. So we're trying to make this a habit, not just, yep. I'm going to binge it and be done. Look how Caitlin. Moving on, right? I'm done. I prayed for him yesterday. So let's continue on. No, the whole point is to make it a habit to pray over our lives because when we marry our husbands, that bond too becomes one. And so when we pray over ourselves, we're praying for them. And so learning how to pray properly, like is the whole idea that I want to get from behind this. Cause I'm like, well, I got this. I'm fine. I'll just pray for him for what I think he needs. Well, come on. Like, that's selfish. What I think he needs is what I'm going to pray for. How about I pray for us? I pray for our belief. I pray for our faith. I pray for our marriage. Not, you know what? <laughs> Lord, he really needs to pick up his laundry because I moved his dresser and now the dresser's in the front of the room and now his, his dirty clothes are in the front of the room. And Lord, if he doesn't pick that up, he's going to hell. <laughs> like, and it's okay for that because if you do it every day for 30 days it will change your heart right <laughs> it will change my heart and now i just kick his dirty clothes into the closet and i'm like well dirty or clean we don't know anymore not my problem which also is something i need to pray about and this is you need a dog I, I could talk about so much from just like <clears throat> these four or five pages from today but the one most important thing that really just will stick with me hopefully till the end of time is that the stormy says People who pray, you know, people who are used to praying, typically they've learned how to pray for themselves because it does feel self-centered or whatever. So it does take some practice sometimes to pray for ourselves. Like God, do this for me. And we get in the habit of praying for ourselves, but how often do you pray for your husband? And we can become so hardened and so just resentful and all of those things that we don't pray for our husband. So can you really pray for yourself if you're not praying for your husband? Because everything that you want for yourself involves your husband. And that comes back to what Jack just said, is that once you get married, you are, you are a union and you become one. If I am praying for my happiness, but yet I don't pray for my husband's anxiety, that affects my happiness. Why am I not praying for him? Why have I not been praying for him? So. Yes. So. Let's pray for them. Or, I love her. I just opened it up too because I haven't started chapter one yet. I'm on the intro. <clears throat> and it says, God's favorite three word prayer. Change me, Lord. So change us as we continue to work through this book. Change us so we can see our marriages in a different light and pray for them in a way that God wants us to and to see them as a son to a king. They're a son to a king, just like we're daughters to a king. They are sons. Like, that's pretty freaking cool. My husband is a son to a king, and I've been looking at him like a pipsqueak because he didn't pick up his laundry. Like, like, come on, Jack. Like, that's ridiculous. This is very convicting, needless to say. Uh, oh, that's so true. All right. So each 
So yesterday I read one of the short prayers from this little book. And so today is, Lord, help me be a good wife. So we're not in prayer yet. You don't have to close your eyes. But what day are you on, though? I, I'm actually on page. Oh, I'm in a in this You're little a book, right? Yeah, I'm okay. on page. I read today's yesterday by accident. Uh, so, Lord, help me to be a good wife. I fully realize that I don't have what it takes to be one without your help. Oh, so moving. Take my selfishness, my impatience, my irritability, and turn them into kindness long suffering and the willingness to bear all things take my old emotional habits mindsets automatic reactions rude assumptions and self protectiveness and make me patient kind good faithful gentle and self controlled take the hardness of my heart and break down the walls with your battering ram of revelation give me a new heart and work in me your love peace and joy galatians 5:22 I am not able to rise above who I am at this moment. Only you can transform me. And in Jesus' name, I pray. And with that, now, bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for allowing us to come together again today. Every day that we get to come together is just a true blessing. And it just starting the day off with the word and prayer and with the people I love and you in my heart, it just sets, sets us up, sets us up, up for success. And in Mark eleven twenty four, you wrote to us, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. And so God, today I pray, please help my husband to use strategies to manage his anxiety, to be patient and to believe in himself. I know he loves me and I ask for patience for myself while you are working on him. Jacqueline. Oh, Jesus, you know, I need you. I've been with you all morning in so many different ways already. And it's so early. Um, but Lord, I just want to pray over our mind, body, soldier tribe over our marriages, over our children, over protection, Lord, as we continue to move in our journeys with you. I pray for guidance and clarity as we, as the world starts to open up and things start to get busy. I just pray that we do not get back to the busyness of life, but yet we continue to stay disciplined in seeking you and our purpose. Lord, I pray over those, those creatures behind my house, whatever they are, that they will just stop their noises. But if their noises are your will, Lord, that sure, let them continue, but let, let allow me to see the joy in their noise. Lord, I just ask for prayers um, specifically over, well, actually, I want to give you praise, Lord. Our, our tenants in our Vermont house, you know this, but we've prayed over this, I think, every single day since, um, I mean, we started these prayer requests. The tenants in our Vermont house just said they want to purchase the house and they have told us, no, 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 no. They're not interested for three years and they want to purchase it. And Lord, just, I'm so thankful for you and just answering prayers. And now just help us in that process of oh, <clears throat> walking through it. I have no idea what it looks like, but you've given me Dr. Linda, you've given me such guidance with her. So thank you for her and helping me to figure this all out. I'm so excited to potentially no to buy a house here in Florida because that's where we belong apparently and that's so exciting um lord I want to pray over Jackson over my son Jackson as the world opens up and the busyness begins his anxiety slips back in and the last two mornings have been hell on earth um and you know that and my heart just breaks for him and just help me to remain calm as as I parent him you gave him to me Help me be the mom that he needs to be, be the mom that you need me to be, Lord, and help me to just help him manage his anxiety. He is such an incredible little boy, and the enemy is is just covering him and bringing back all those old feelings, Lord. I pray that you remove those feelings from him. I pray that you rebuke the devil from his life, that you remove the demons of anxiety, that you replace them with what you always meant to be there with joy, love, peace, kindness, happiness. Oh, his smile is coming back and I'm seeing my boy back and, and I feel the enemy creeping. I see him. I feel him. I know he's there. He's trying to get in. You've won the war though. Don't let me be tricked. Don't let Jackson be tricked. Cover Jackson in the full armor of God, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness. 
help him put on the belt of truth and help him to see that he is a warrior in your eyes and that the enemy cannot defeat him. I pray um, over the floods in Michigan and I saw there were some in Virginia and dams and people losing their homes and for the heartache and I just, I just cover our world in your protection, Lord. I pray for continued strength as this life is is not what we were created for. Death is not what we were created for. That was not part of the plan. But as we move forward, that we continue to seek your purpose and we continue to know why we're here and to bring more people to the kingdom. And I pray for more laborers to the harvest that they will be able to come and just the disciples of you, Lord, I pray for those that are so lost in their religion and stuck on ideas that they are missing missing you they're missing jesus they're missing the point of love and they're missing they're missing what's right in front of them lord and that's me included you know sometimes i get so caught up that i need you to just break down those brick walls you know i very easily put them up one brick at a time in the sickest way possible and i envision the cement lord explode the walls that were never meant to be there break them down i can visualize them as they go in our hearts break those walls down in our minds they are not of you, Lord. And so I ask that you remove them from us. I pray over our, our marriages as we walk forward, Lord, that we just, we just look to you and we feel convicted and take action and sit still when we need to. And we just continue to love on the sons of God, the son to a king that you have given us, because that is pretty incredible and help us to see them how you see them and not how we see them and not see the dirty laundry because god who cares just can i just ask that there's no dirty laundry in heaven that'd be great um so lord i'm just i'm just so grateful for you thank you for all that you've given us forgive us for our sins that we know of and those that we don't know oh i love you lord trace oh gee oh lord (laughs) um i'm just I want to start off just saying thank you for bringing these ladies into my life. I, I tell you that every day. I pray on that every single day because it's true. I wouldn't be able to get through these hard times without them. So just thank you for bringing these ladies into my life, this tribe into my life. Um, I want to put some extra prayers uh, for uh, my coworker, Anne, who just lost an uncle. Um, be with her family. Be with her in this hard time. Oh, so much loss. And it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to see through that, especially in these times. It's difficult to mourn. It's difficult to grieve. Um, When you can't be with family um, through these difficult times. So be, be with them, remind them um, that you're with them. Um, I want to ask for extra prayers for myself. Over these last couple days, I've been just Ah, uh, my patience is wearing thin, so remind me just to be extra patient. Be with me and remind me to just know that Darren is doing his best. He is struggling. I know he's struggling and he doesn't maybe always verbalize that, but when he does, remind me to sit with him and listen, just to be be there and not to just 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 walk past it and just to disregard it um it's been difficult so i know you know that my struggles are real right now um so just remind me to be extra patient and i ask for extra prayers for him as well um help him just continue his progress i know it's been apparent i've seen it um and i've praised it um but it's so quickly forgotten in the times that are difficult and the times that he struggles and the times that I struggle when I come home from work. So when I come home from work, remind me that I'm home and to be with him um, and to just, you know, forget, let go of my, of my strains at work as well. So, okay. In Jesus name we pray. Is there anybody else? Katie girl, I'm throwing thing in there. Oh, thank you. Okay, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh. Four. Right. I'm so glad I got on this call. This is my only morning this week that I can come on, maybe Saturday. But I was like, 
ran in here with my computer like a bat out of hell (laughs) after I got Jackson in that car, shut the door, child lock on. And I was like, I need my prayer time. (laughs) (laughs) We all join us every day, Monday through Saturday, 7.30-ish. 7.30-ish. We love you guys. Follow us on YouTube. Come to our women's retreat. Florida is opening up, clearly. I'm at the beach. It's okay. We're going to be in rustic cabins. They'll probably be sick. There's bunk beds for crying out loud. You're going to sleep far enough away from everyone. Oh, uh, and all of you pray that Canada opens up. So I am allowed to be where I'm meant to be with my ladies in Florida at this retreat because I know I'm, I know I need to be there. I know I'm meant to be there. So just pray. Sorry. My prayers are coming from my husband's calling me. So I'm going to answer him. Legally there, but then I, I can be there legally. <laughs> We're, we're, we're praying for the opening of the countries as we start to walk through this as well. We love you guys. Join us. Bye-bye.